Now, I think we all agree that the trailer stands from the new wedding pack are kind of iconic, but for some reason they're not actually in the new world. Tortosa is pretty big, it has nine lots, but only two pre-made families actually live here, the Laurent family and the Markovic family. The trailer sims are actually in the world, but not like in this world. Does that make sense? So in managed households, you can filter by unplayed households and not in worlds. So their household actually exists and like has a backstory. The sims are made, they're in your game. They just don't technically live anywhere. Think like Daddy Winter and Agnes Crumplebottom. They kind of have the same thing going on. I know this seems like a weird idea. I'm not sure I agree with it, but I think I understand why they did it. When they make these new worlds, they try really hard to make them like easy to start playing in. And by that, I mean they always have starter homes. Homes. They usually aim for more than one. They want to have empty lots so that if you want to start building, you can right away. They want to have some community lots and they want to have some pre made households. So they try and balance all of that. And I assume there was probably like a okay, should we have an extra starter home or should we put Dom and Cam in the safe? And they probably talked about it and decided to have them just be like in the world, but not in the world. But I want them to live here. I want to build them a house. And I'm kind of thinking this starter home on this little island is like prime real estate. I think I might build them a house on this lot because look at this. This is like actually dream home material, so I kind of want to build them something around this area. It's a really small lot, so it won't be a huge house, but it really only needs to be one bedroom, so it should be fine. I'm also probably gonna give them a little bit more money because I want to have a nice house and not a 19,000 simoleon house. The original lot that was here was like kind of Greek inspired, so I almost want to do a similar thing. I've got a couple of reference pictures. I'm really into this one. I like the vibes here with like the blue and the stone, the staircase outside. I'm not sure about how this particular style of build will look in The Sims though. This kind of thing always looks great in real life, but sometimes builds like this look very odd and like almost unfinished in The Sims. The Sims just can't do it justice is the problem, but we'll try. I think this one is probably most like the shape that I'm gonna go for. I like the staircase back here and this pergola upstairs and the one downstairs. If we can fit a pool, I will, but I'm not sure if we can pull it off because the lot is very small, but we'll try. I love this one, like the blue windows, the little balconies, the vines. I don't know if we can do the vines as well as it looks here because I only have the base game and the new pack installed, so we kind of are lacking in the ivy department, but we'll see. So hopefully that kind of gets my point across and you can see what we're going for here. Again, it's only going to use the base game and my wedding story so that you can actually download it if you buy the pack. And I guess with that, we should get building. I don't know how tall it's going to be. I need to think about this a little bit. I'm warning you right now, I'm probably going to bulldoze the lot, so don't worry, it's fine. To be honest with you, I think I feel most comfortable starting with the back of this house, mostly because that's what the reference pictures were of. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger than I was anticipating. Oh no. We'll figure it out. It's fine. It's fine. So we have a couple sort of interesting pergola type options. I mean, there's this one, which is like the, the main base game one. I'm kind of thinking that's what I want to try and use outside. Oh, but it's bigger than I was expecting. Okay. We also have this one. That one might fit a little bit better with the house. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to think about that. Oh, I kind of forgot that it was that tall. Oops. What happens if you size it down? Would that be fine? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how to build stuff like this. I'm kind of out of my element here. Okay, I might end up using half walls instead of this fence, but we'll see. We've got time to figure that part out. All right, we're also gonna have to scoot this like way forward on the lot. It'll probably be right up against the edge because I want to have a lot of this be like patio space. This could work. I might scoot it forward one more tile though. I hope the front's not gonna be too bad. I just, I want to have like a little bit more of a wide area in the back here. I like the idea of there being some loungers here, but maybe there shouldn't be. Maybe I should do it like, no, that's ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. We'll revisit this. Like, actually ignore me while I try and figure this out. I'm honestly not sure about this. I think once we get more of it done, like as we're adding to this, it'll start to make sense. This is one of those trust the process kind of times. I'm gonna use this door even though it clips. Listen, I don't really care if it clips in the front because it's like decorative, right? The actual door itself doesn't clip. It's just the decorative piece and I think that's okay. I might change my mind. We'll see. I don't know. The thing is, I like so badly want to use the blue windows and doors, but there's not really like doors that match. Like we have all these different shades of blue and it's not the vibes. First of all, it is not the vibes. Those are different colors. Why? <laughs> Why? And like, these are the ones, this is what matches, but like, I think that's too small. So I don't really want to use that. And then we have the new windows, but there's not that many swatches on them and they don't match the door. Do you think I could pull it off with the purple windows? I really want to use the purple windows. I actually really like them. Maybe I could. Oh, besties, I think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> I swear I was really trying, but I don't know if the purple is going to work. Do you see what I mean when I say we need to have more variants of the windows though? Like if we had a, a one tile wide version, it would be perfect because we could fit it all in better. 
but with these versions it's too much like they're all too big I just need like one or two extra sizes of the windows to make them more usable well this could be smaller than what Oh, we need to have an awning here, but I don't like any of the options. Like this one, I don't really want to use that tile. And there's a blue swatch. Oh, what a weird shaped house on the inside. I didn't even realize that. Oh no. Now I'm thinking maybe it'd be better if it were all white. I mean, the inspiration picture I had was like this. It's kind of pretty. I don't know how I want to do the landscaping though. I'm not entirely sure about that. I do think I want to have a pretty stone, but maybe I'll try and use one like this. I don't know. Something a bit bolder. All right. I'm trying to add in some landscaping now because I feel like that will help me. I just need something that'll help like break up the space a little bit because right now I feel like it's looking a little bit sad. Sad. So I wonder if I get some bigger trees if I could help split it up We do have these like these pretty pink flowers So I could probably make something out of this. No, we could have this like climbing the whole wall. Oh, well, those are floating So <laughs> wait, let me think about this for a second. Does that look ugly? Maybe they need to be a little bit closer together I mean, maybe it's a little bit ugly I'm gonna let that sit for a sec and I'll think about it <laughs> Well, I wanted to have this here because I wanted to make like a little side garden I thought it would be cute to have like some planter boxes and stuff And I think that'll also help like split up the front yard a little bit because I'm kind of struggling to figure figure out how to do that. Should I use this giant fence? I mean, we do have a really pretty fence that came with the pack, but I'm not really vibing with it. <laughs> like, I don't really want to, um, like, I don't really want to use this, like, everywhere. I don't love the color options either. Why does it do this? No, I don't think we can use that. What if the pool was completely in the corner? Like, it was back there? I'm gonna have to figure out something to make the pool look less dumb, but we'll, we'll get to that at the end. Mm, I don't know what to do about this. I think the main issue that I'm having is that the lot doesn't go go up to the edge of this. So I want to have like, I don't know, some sort of like faded path kind of like this so it can kind of fade out. If this went right to the edge of this, that would be ideal, but it doesn't because it's The Sims 4 and it never does. And that's where I'm struggling. Okay, I'm trying to think about ways that we can make this blend in a little bit better, like planters. I don't know. No, maybe I'll just stop with this whole business. Let me try again. Oh, I need to be a little bit careful because if we're going to landscape, it might clip into the house. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Ooh, okay. If you knew how many times I have done and redone this right now, you would actually be embarrassed for me. Like I keep doing it and then giving up and starting over, over and over and over and over and over again. <sighs> I want to use a stone, but I don't think that it should be this stony. Does that make sense? Well, maybe it's okay. No, it should probably be just like a plain stucco. That's more appropriate for it. I've been trying to do some more landscaping. I think this is kind of growing on me. Obviously it needs some more work, like it's not done, but I think it's starting to come together. I'm gonna get a few more garden pots just around in the back here, because this is supposed to be my private little garden. I won't lie, I'm gonna need to revisit the back. But then I think maybe we should start the inside. This is taking me like an embarrassingly long time, by the way. <laughs> I've spent like over an hour on just the outside and the video is probably like five minutes long so far. Like, I bet it's all cut out. Okay, well, I'm thinking I'll probably put the staircase, like, right here. The stairs can be sort of next to each other, but it makes sense. Oh, maybe it doesn't make sense. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, yeah, I might need to move the stairs. I- this floor plan doesn't make much sense. And again, realistically, it doesn't need to be a big house. Like, this could be a two-bedroom house, and that would be totally fine. Oh, that would be a good spot downstairs, but it doesn't really vibe upstairs because it cuts off the balcony. No, that's, like, a giant bedroom. This house is too big. Maybe that's the problem, is the house is too big. Okay, Okay, so here's what I'm thinking right now. This is two bedrooms upstairs. We have the one main bedroom, a smaller bedroom that probably could use some more windows. We'll work on that. And this is like an ensuite bathroom. So right now the house is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I think that works. The bathroom has a balcony off of it, which maybe is odd, but that's fine. This is like dream home material, okay? It makes perfect sense. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, and then I'm sort of envisioning that this will be like a dining room sort of space. The living room will probably be here. Kitchen in this little tiny nook. Oh, it's weird. I don't know. Yikes. Maybe this should be the kit. No. Oh, guys. <laughs> this is not good. I have no idea what I want to do. Well, I guess some sort of like galley kitchen would probably work for this. I mean, it's really small. It's like totally not ideal, but maybe it's nice. Look, they even get a dishwasher. These are high rollers right here, okay? <laughs> you know I like never put dishwashers in my Sims build. Not on purpose. I just kind of forget. I'll like design a kitchen and then not leave space for a dishwasher and then be like, nah, it's fine. We don't need one. Admittedly, in real life, dishwashers, super useful. But in The Sims, you know, does it really matter? No, it doesn't. I'm putting some baked goods on the counter. I feel like I can picture these two having baked goods on their counter. I mean, I don't know, maybe they don't bake. I'm, I'm assuming they're bakers, mostly because they're like old ladies. <laughs> But this fits my granny vibes, okay? I'm trying to quickly do the bathrooms just to get it over with because I don't like doing them, it's boring. I think I might put a tub upstairs. Ooh, actually, I'm not sure if we can fit one. I was just thinking because there's a shower 
shower downstairs. Well, we can put a tub right here. No, I will. Yeah, I was thinking because there's a shower downstairs, it would be nice to have a tub up here. It's tight. It's definitely tight, but it'll work. I'm thinking this will be some sort of art studio space in here, and then we'll have their bedroom. I'm trying to use the new wallpaper, but I'm not really vibing with the colors. <laughs> They're a little bit too bright for me. It's hard to do builds with this pack because there's not really a lot of like furniture. And what I mean by that is that most of the items in this pack are, are not furniture items. They're like decor for weddings, which is fun. Don't get me wrong, but like it does make it difficult to build houses with this pack because there's not a lot of house stuff. Like you're probably not going to put this item in your Sims home, you know? I'll definitely use the tea set and I think I want to try and use the chairs as well. Colors are annoying, I won't lie. <laughs> I'm not vibing with this. At least the centerpieces are kind of easy to use places, you know, like I can see myself using those all the time. This is all a bit bland for me, I won't lie. Maybe I can try and get some blue chairs. That could work. It's a little bit more interesting. See, there's potential here. I'm trying to make it like colorful, but also kind of simple. Do you know what? We should probably put like a big window right here as well. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'm also thinking lots of plants. Like we need to have plants all over the place. Otherwise it's kind of sad. I already think the front door is kind of sad because there's no like windows on it. I'm speaking by the way, as a person whose front door has no windows on it. I wish that there was. I like the style of the door. I just, I wish there was more styles of door in the pack. Maybe I want darker floors. I don't know what kind of floors. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if there was tile? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. I mean, I'm not opposed to putting it in some areas, but I don't really want to put it everywhere. Maybe in the living room I could use it, and then we could do like wood floor in this room. Do you know what? I worry this house is like actually ugly. The more I'm working on it, the more I'm like, oh wow, this is not going according to plan. <sighs> It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, I'm liking this a little bit better. I feel like this makes a little bit more sense. I'm like actually embarrassed because I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of this. I have no idea what I'm trying to accomplish here. And I think that's the main part of the problem. Like, I don't really know what I want it to look like. So I'm kind of just like floundering trying to put furniture in. I've almost spent my entire budget. I have to mother load again. Oops. <laughs> Why do I keep building such expensive houses? Why can I not stop myself? Like they actually have no business being this expensive. It's kind of embarrassing. So I wanted this little corner to be like a library office sort of nook. Maybe a chicken on the wall. That seems appropriate. And I think that the downstairs could honestly be done with that. Upstairs, we honestly only have the bedrooms left to finish. I might just put some like random decor kind of like this in the little hallway. Maybe another chicken. Maybe that's the theme. Chicken house. Okay, so I wanted this room to be an art studio. If you wanted to play in this house, you could totally replace it as a bedroom, but I know that these sims, like one's an artist, one's a writer, I'm pretty sure. So I want to give them each like appropriate space for these hobbies. Part of the little storyline behind these sims is that like, oh, you'll see them out like painting in the town. I've not seen them painting in the town, but I have seen them swimming in the town. Well, not swimming in the town, but like swimming at the beach in town, like over there, you know? <laughs> I have seen them out and about. You know what? This painting feels very appropriate for this little space. Can I get like a small little desk? They're all so big. <laughs> I just want to put a little desk because I kind of like the idea of there being like a little spot for some journaling or something in here. I think this is a good opportunity for jazz cats. It's not often that a jazz cat opportunity arises <laughs> and I'm gonna take it. I like that. I think that's really nice. Maybe one bigger plant in this corner. Yeah, see, there's just really good vibes in this room. It's cozy. It's comfortable. I like it. And lastly is their bedroom. Honestly, I might take this opportunity to use this bed. I don't know if this bed is like weird or not, but there house is a little bit funky. I think it could work. And they're artists. Like, it kind of, it makes sense, right? 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 I'm really just searching for like any chance to use this bed. Let's be honest. I, I never get a chance to use this bed. So I'm trying to create opportunities. I don't love the rug or the lamps. Honestly, really don't know what to put in here. I think a bookshelf would be good. Perhaps a pretty flower painting over there maybe? Honestly, I think we should put some curtains in and maybe a little dresser last but not least. Ooh, gotta be careful about the spacing there because it's close to the door. There's not any mirrors that are like the appropriate size in my mind. I need something a little bit wider wider, but not like as high up as this one is. I want it to be like, I don't know. I just need like a more square mirror. I kind of want to use the blue one instead. I loved the yellow one, but I feel like the blue might fit in a little bit better. I'm not sure. I can't pick a rug. I've tried like every option. I might just go with that one and get, call it a day. Lastly, we have to work on the outside of this house a tiny bit. I think I want to change the color of the pool tiles first and foremost. I kind of like the idea of painting it like a more dark blue. I also want to get a pool ladder and honestly, like two pool lights would be good. 
side. Ooh, this will be pretty, this furniture. Maybe just like a simple coffee table in between. No, I think it should be white. Mm, I'm sorry. I liked it, but I'm not sure. I do think I want to use the tea set again because it would be fun to have your sim sit out here and have tea. Oh, where does the trash can go? Why did I have to fill in this whole place like so much? <laughs> I might put it just right here because then you can open it, like throw things out right outside of the door. I'm putting a little tree down. I'm just trying to fill in the space more. It's kind of empty and sad. You know what? I'm really happy with this. Maybe a couple finishing touches. We should put a few more little planter boxes around. I think one like up here might help. And then possibly we finish it off with a little bit of terrain paint surrounding all of the outside of this. Oh, and you know what? Maybe we could put an easel outside too. Cause I bet this would be a great spot to stand and paint, like to look at the view and paint. Why can I never find, there's like a specific item. Maybe it's underneath clutter, but there's a base game item. It's a painter career reward. And it looks like a little table like with your paints on it. I always struggle to find it. I don't know why. This thing. Artist supply tab array. Sure. That'll be good. Okay. Oh, and I didn't put anything up here. Oh no, wait. Sorry. One second. Hear me out. Last but not least, it would not be a Simsy build unless chest table. Beautiful. Stunning. Perfect. It's ready. I am pleased. I don't love it. I kind of think it's weird, but you know what? It's better than nothing, which is what they had previously. So should I call it two bedrooms even though it's just one? <laughs> it's technically two rooms. In real life, like the listing would class it as two bedrooms, but in The Sims, it's only furnished with one bedroom. Oh, please. Oh, please don't crash. Oh my God. Why didn't I say first? I'm terrified. I hate this game. I hate this game. Okay, we're fine. <sighs> My life just flashed before my eyes. It does every time. Okay, well, I put it on the gallery if you want to download it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will say I had to stop recording for an hour in between the middle of this to help my mom with something. So if the video seems disjointed, I apologize. And if you're looking to see any more builds or videos related to the wedding pack, I can link some that I've made down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Honestly, besties, just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, maybe feel free to subscribe. You like The Sims, I like The Sims, we can hang out. It would be cute, right? Right? The sub button's right there. You might as well click it.